Whew, man, I mean, these going for around four hundred dollars, but boss, going for twenty five k is crazy. Things happening this week. Hope y'all ready for the madness. Let's talk about it. You. Fam of What's good? What's good with y'all, man? Your boy Jay is back, man, to talk to y'all and chop it up about some craziness, man. And there's some regularness that's happening here in the sneaker community, man. Um, if this is your first time pulling up, checking out your boy Jay, man, make sure y'all stick around, hit the subscribe button. If you have been a, a continuous viewer and you have not hit the subscribe button, man, hit the subscribe button. We recently hit 166 thousand man so we are still on that road to 200k man and on um, we're we're inching up bro we getting there slowly but surely so i appreciate all the ogs of the fam i appreciate all the new members man thank y'all for rocking out with your boy jay but yes man today your boy jay wants to jump right into what's going down man of course we know tomorrow tomorrow will be the big day man i think that will be the biggest day. I'm going to say the biggest day. Of course, later on in the week, we will see the Travis Scott Canary Yellows. I don't even know if those are still set to be releasing on Saturday or not because I haven't seen any Sneakers app info. I haven't seen any Travis Scott info. So those are kind of on just the loading stage right now. We're not too sure about those. But what we are for sure going to be seeing happen tomorrow is pure madness. I'm telling y'all, Um, I will be just... I, I'll be shocked, y'all. I gotta say that. I'll be shocked tomorrow, Wednesday, May 22nd, that if the Sneakers app does not do some sort of glitching, crashing, or anything like that, I'll be shocked, man. But before I dive into, of course, the details of tomorrow, man, today we did get a shot drop. We got a, a shot drop, I guess. It wasn't a shock drop because the official release of the shoe was today, man. The KD Weathermans, y'all. Of course, the KD4 Weathermans, those released today. Um, I didn't get any in my area. If I would have drove down the road maybe an hour or so to Atlanta, I probably would have been able to get my hands on them. But I didn't get a pair, and I'm kind of debating right now whether I want to get my hands on a pair or not. I can get a pair easily for $200, but do I want to spend $200 on a shoe that I could have got for $130? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we'll wait and see how, you know, I feel when I do see those in hand or whatever the case may be. But uh, comment down below. Let me know if you guys copped or scooped up a pair of the KD4 Weathermans today. Classic shoe, of course. A shoe that was going for a crazy amount when they first released back in the day. But um, we did get the retro of those officially today. And that's actually my first KD retro that have released as of late that I haven't picked up. You know what I'm saying? I picked up the Chinese New Year or the Year of the Dragon, whatever you want to call those. I picked up the... Uh, the 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 galaxies you know i picked up pretty much all the recent kd drops i just didn't pick up the weathermans but um like i said man let me know you know if i should grab though i'm I, it's not up to y'all i'm just curious to know y'all thoughts when i do say y'all let me know if i should grab that but uh outside of that man let's fast forward again back to tomorrow y'all big day 10 o'clock a.m eastern time man we will see the release of two not one two arguably top three top five top ten guaranteed gotta be in your top ten of the year shoes releasing on one day man we do got the jordan three j bobbin rios those will be releasing tomorrow however shout out to secret sauce man secret sauce is a group a discord group that gives you all informative information y'all everything you want to know about drops stock infos all in one spot they were the ones that gave me the drop today and i let it slip away y'all i let it slip away hear me out but i'm gonna tell y'all about that story but basically today on the j balvin website they did do a drop they had a drop to where you can purchase a pair of the j balvins however me moving so fast i did not go on the discord i did not go in there and i didn't get any information that was probably there from yesterday or so you know what i'm saying i didn't get any of that intel i just you know got a notification on my phone saying you know j bob and rio's uh password x y and z i clicked on it i got in um i had to wait about five minutes to get into the checkout stage once i got to the checkout stage y'all y'all my total for that shoe was 25 thousand dollars but y'all check this out y'all speaking on the whole 25k thing for a pair of balvins 
it actually was a brilliant idea, man, because what J Balvin and his team and whoever organizes the website, what they did was they used what I call extreme bot protection because what I think that was meant to do, it was meant for people who do like auto checkouts and botting and stuff like that. If as soon as the time comes when they release, you check out, but you're gonna be paying 25,000 per pair. Because remember, when it comes to bots, it's bots. It's not a human seeing how much they're being charged. All the people do is set up their car information. And boy, I hope y'all bots out there, I hope y'all ain't have no American Expresses or no platinum cards or nothing like that on there that's gonna take that 25K because you run up a quick 100K on four pairs of shoes, man. So I think that that was actually a brilliant idea to have that sort of bot protection. Um, so man, y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the swift move that J Balvin and his team pulled. But uh, outside of that, they made the regular users have to put in that manual passcode. And that's why I told you guys about, you know, I didn't get the passcode in time. Of course, passcodes went out early to those who spent the $100 on Balvin's website. Of course, I think it was Monday day or so it said if you pay spend a hundred dollars you get exclusive access so those people had early access i want to say a few minutes prior to the drop but um i think it was a brilliant idea i then still go through with the checkout because i'm like i know when it gets to the final stage where i'm giving them my apple pay info or whatever the case is that price has to update nope show enough bro i clicked on apple pay it literally dead dead you know what i'm saying said double click to pay and it said 26 maybe or something like that or some change i was like bruh 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 but the catch to that was you had to have a special password code in which secret sauce provided y'all so that's on me i took that l because i did not you know what i'm saying go to the group and get the info that I needed. But the info, the passcode, all that stuff that I needed to get that shoe today was in the group, man. So like I was telling you guys about Secret Sauce, y'all, it is a Discord group that does have three tiers. They do have an Essential, a Premium, and a Elite membership. I'm a Premium member. I started off as an Essential. You guys have been seeing the dubs rolling in, man. I've got, you know, Dion's from there. I got the, the Air Force of... Uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market, all four of those. I've gotten all the Kobe drops. I got like shoe after shoe, man. If you guys been watching the channel, you know all the dubs I've been getting. I don't really have to go down the list, but my dubs have been crazy since I have been rocking out with them, y'all. I'm trying to give y'all a game. If you guys want to tap in and get any shoes, secure any retail dubs on these shoes, man, you guys need to tap in the Secret Sauce. And you guys can only get in within 24 hours, basically get in instantly by using my link down below in the description. If you guys don't use my link, you guys will have to wait outside of the group for maybe three weeks, a month, two months. There's a waiting list because like I said, a lot of people are getting word of this group. They're trying to get into it because of all the information that you get. But like I said, y'all, I take full responsibility for taking the L today because they 100% gave the info in order for you to cop retail today, man. So shout out to everybody who is in Secret Sauce right now who cooked up today and got their retail pair of Balvins. I'm going back in tomorrow. I already got the drop. I know what's going Going on with it so i know i will guarantee get myself a retail pair of balvins tomorrow man shout out to secret sauce but uh if you guys want to get any retail dubs on big releases not only just shoes anything that's pretty much limited that sells out man they're there to help you with informative information as well as they do have moderators to walk you through the whole process man so tap in with secret sauce use my link down below in the description that's the only way you guys can get in instantly and um it's worth it if you ask your boy jay because you know I'm, I'm rocking with it heavy and the dubs have been rolling and y'all seen it right here before y'all eyes but yes man bang the nike sb dunk low futura so these already did a early release via skate shops man this pair did come from a skate shop shout out to the bro he got kicks man he did source this one for me so uh shout out to he got kicks for letting me get these but um yes man skate shops did do a release on the 17th this past weekend i want to say it was maybe friday or saturday they did release these in very limited quantities these will be a releasing all inside those bobbins tomorrow at 10 a.m comment down below which you if you had to pick your poison which one are you trying to get your hands on is it these or is it the bobbins if i had to give you guys any recommendations if you guys want to get either one of the two shoes or both of them if you want to get both of them not either if you want to get both of them i would say 
you should try to get your hands on these over Balvin's because if you had to pay resale for one, I would say the Balvin's might be a cheaper price tag on the resale end than these, man. Because I feel like once these release tomorrow, and uh, speaking of, you know, releasing tomorrow, I feel like these will be the more limited shoe. Not even feel like. These will 100% be the more limited shoe on the sneakers app tomorrow when it does come to these and the Balvin's, man. But uh, Futura Laboratories, y'all, let me know. Comment down below. Do I need to throw these on? Give y'all a nice little, you know what I'm saying? A little movie to these, you know? Let y'all see what's going on with them. I just, I'm skeptical with how I do my Nike SBs on this channel because y'all mainly like Jordans. We got to keep it a buck, man. The fam normally rocks with J's, and I don't want to put all that much time in the shoe and y'all not really be feeling it. But y'all let me know. Let me know what should I do with them. But uh, these as well, man, Um, they did have some good information back when, you know, they had raffles out and stuff on Secret Sauce with these. I took an L. That was a rare L that I took. But, you know, like I said, man, I can't complain because, you know, my dub streak has been going crazy but um yeah man y'all comment down below did anyone hit did anyone hit today on that bobbin dropping did you see that crazy price tag of twenty five thousand for yourself you know what i'm saying but yes outside of that man make sure you guys also tap in with soul printers they have a big sale going on i think it's up to 45 percent off man by using my promo code jay the sneaker guy or simply clicking my link down below y'all Bang! You can choose from several styles of bags, y'all. This one right here, one of my favorites. I can't say my favorite because the duffel bag is by far my favorite. I take that everywhere. But this one is the one that I recommend you start off with, man. This is called the Daily Commuter Bag. As you can see, it is in the form of a backpack, but it, it's like a duffel bag packed into a backpack, y'all. So this bag has slots on the front, two zipper slots right there on the front. Mega storage space. I always got stuff in here, man. So pardon the stuff that I do have in here, but mega storage space in here, man. You can hold a pair of shoes on the top pouch right here. You can hold another pair of shoes on the bottom pouch. So this holds and secures two pairs of shoes in here, as well as you got room for laptops to be secured in here. You got room for accessories to be put in there. Um, you can put whatever else you want to add right there to the middle. A lot of room right there. You have a special secret spot for storage right here in the back as well, man. So this bag packs a punch, man. This is called the Daily Commuter Bag, and that is the monogram leather bag. I get a lot of compliments on that bag because of how luxurious it looks. They think it's a designer bag, but I'm like, nah, bro. That's the SP. You can call it a designer if you want, but yeah, that's the SP bag. But my favorite, y'all, whoo, the duffel, man. So the duffel bag, y'all, they do have a new wax leather collection y'all these are fire i think they just dropped the new red one bro red one's going crazy i actually just ordered me a blue bag i got a bag coming so um yeah man this bag right here holds a lot as well man if you guys watch any of my vlogs you see me nine times out of ten this is the bag that you're gonna see me with man i normally load it down with my camera accessories my clothes multiple pairs of shoes man so not only of course shoes and things that i pack in it you know you can put anything in there man so definitely tap in the sole premise use my promo code and my link down below i'm telling y'all summer is coming up you want to have things ready or if you want to get a gift for someone father's day you know i'm telling you they will appreciate that bag but definitely tap in with sole premise outside of that man so yes outside of the two big sneaker releases that is happening tomorrow i wanted to just kind of just talk to y'all about that i want to catch up and get y'all thoughts and opinions on some future things happening with sneakers man um so one shoe that i did not talk about that is coming back and i want to say november i want to say it's releasing now november is going to be the black toe 14s i think that these are releasing in either november or october but the shoe that I'm talking about is the Jordan 1 Black Toe. The reimagined Jordan 1 Black Toes, man. I am feeling them, bro. I'm feeling them. I never, like I said, I never talked to you guys about this shoe. Um, They did reimagine it, of course. You got the Air Jordan written now in place of where the Wings logo is. And that's not, that's, I mean, that's not a problem to me at all. The only reason why people might think it looks weird or outside of the norm is because it's not a Wings logo. But if this is the style of Jordan 1 that we have gotten from day one, if they were to slap a Wings logo on it, we would all be looking crazy. So it's just, you know, it's something different, man. And I always say change is good. And I'm definitely here for the Black Toe Reimagines. I'm glad that that's the only pretty much change that's happening to it is the Wings logo. Because think about it, y'all. They could have, they could have just messed the whole shoe up they could have made the whole shoe suede 
for example. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm not mad. Beggars can't be choosers. That small little change, I'm here for it. Bring it on. I think I might need two of those, man. So black toes, I'm definitely copping those. Talking about another shoe, y'all. We are getting Jordan 5 Metallics 2025, man. And um, that's a shoe that's going to be reimagined as well. So 2025 is already shaping up to look like it's gonna be a banger of a year. I'm ready for it. And uh, not much I need to say about the Metallic Files because those are definitely getting copped. But another shoe too, we just recently seen uh, Z Snigger has posed the Phone Posit DMVs, y'all. They look like, they look like, kind of like the pink phones that, that released not too long ago. Well, it was a little while ago now, but uh, just uh, all over, you know, pink, pearl pink, a pearl pink colorway on the phones. I don't know, bro. I think that those are clean, but I I don't know if I need any more phones, y'all. I ain't even been rocking my phones that I have like that. They just been piling up. Speaking of phones, too, um, the 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 Orwood Brown, the Orwood Brown phones that I showed you guys recently, I ended up getting rid of. I'm not keeping a pale man because I just I I don't need them. You know what I'm saying? So if if it comes around and I see them on feed and I like them, I'm not, I don't need them. <laughs> I don't need them, but knowing me, I don't know. I might double back and get those, but uh, DMV joints, man, clean pair. Those are supposed to be releasing this year. So that is pretty much to catch up as well as, hold on. We do got to talk about the Jordan 12 not so flu games supposed to be releasing next year man because uh a big rumor was that the flu games was supposed to be coming back in 2025 that has been nipped in the butt bro it's not happening it's not happening we're getting one of these random flea market jordan 12s and bummer you know what i'm saying but uh i'm cool with it i got my flu game 12s sitting over there on ice looking beautiful so uh i'm good on them Sorry for those of you who don't have them and was looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, I think what happened was Nike released the color code, the color blocking of it, and it matched the color blocking and code of the Jordan 12 flu games, but when the official images came out, they just had everything flip-flop, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, it be like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, no flu games 2025, and that is the update, and I think I'm caught up, man. I think that's really pretty much all that's happening everything that's coming up like i said y'all tomorrow tomorrow is a huge day i've been telling you guys about secret sauce so if you guys are in the group hey you guys might be able to get that retail dub i know your chances are way higher than slimmer so you know what i'm saying uh been telling you guys leading up to that as well as uh make sure you guys tap in with soul premise use my link down below as well as use my link for secret sauce down there that's the only way you can get in instantly otherwise you'll be waiting but um that is it your boy jay's gone man y'all stay blessed um, till the next one, good luck tomorrow because all is going to need it. And I, I just need the feedback from y'all, man. Y'all let me know, do I need to go live tomorrow, man? It's a big release, and I'm debating. I'm like, man, should I? Should I? I don't know, man. I need y'all feedback, man. Comment down below. Hey, go live, Jay. Uh, we good, Jay. I want to hear from y'all. But outside of that, good luck again because y'all show sure going to need it. And uh, make sure your apps is updated, all that good stuff. But uh, besides that, I'm out, man.